we created a list of vagina-friendly cities. Welcome Phnom Penh! Min chan chim ba long pasai sa sa robot lang ko nang pi tong ai no ko nang pi. Ta ne na ke tra ka phlak te yeum em san che. My vagina is furious and it needs to talk. It needs to talk about all the shit. Needs to talk to you. You have to love hair in order to love the vagina. You can't pick and choose the parts that you want. If your vagina could talk, what would it say? Two words. Slow down. I could feel the panic coming. The simultaneous terror and realization that I had avoided finding my clitoris. That I was one of those constitutionally incapable, one of those frigid, shut down, dry, apricot tasting bitter. Oh my god! I bet you're worried. I need to see you, he said. No need, just do it. I need to see what you look like. <laughs> But you've seen a red leather couch before, Bob. <laughs> I realized later that she was my surprise. Unexpected and politically incorrect salvation. See closed inside, inside car. I was becoming hopeless when I discovered women. I discovered that most women love my moaning. And more importantly, I discovered how deeply excited I got when other women moaned. When I was responsible for other women moaning. They beat the girl. They beat the girl. They beat the girl. They beat the girl out of my boy. The heart is capable of sacrifice, and so can the vagina. It can change its shape to let us in. It can expand to let us out. One billion women. Sang billion babay, un billion de mujeres. Se trae mejor ni nada. Can we rebirth the culture? Because we know that when women are equal, free, safe, and allowed to be alive in all of their intensity, the whole story will finally change. Yeah.